Good morning, guys. This is another discussion on my way to work. Uh, everything that could go wrong went wrong this morning, so I am running late. So it's kind of a good thing that I get to set my own schedule. Um, I want to tell you guys something. I always tell you guys to unplug once in a while and enjoy your life. Do what you need to do to take care of you and your family. And I have done that for a couple of months now. Some of you know that um, I was put into a new position. I had to kind of take a step back so that um, I could focus on my new position. So uh, I've done that. I have been focusing on my new position. I have been putting fires out, uh, not literal fires, but workplace fires um, for the last couple months now. And I told you guys uh, the last video or the video before that uh, God blessed me. He, he put me in a position that removes me from uh, the center of my job so I can focus on what I need to do personally as well as within my workplace help people, which has just been amazing to be able to do me, you know, be able to help people where I can, when I can. And um, it just feels really good. I've always been about helping each other and being kind and so forth. You guys know that. Well, one of the things that um, I was also concerned about before I took this job uh, for the long-term goal is, if you've been watching me for a while, you guys know that my husband and I have a five-year plan, which I think we're, we have three years left, maybe two and a half years left, that we want to retire in Tennessee. We have had this strong pull to Tennessee for a long time, and I know some of you uh, have that same feeling, and I believe that there's a reason for that. I believe that some of us are being pulled to Tennessee for a reason to uh, be together, bond together, and um, really be an army. And seriously, those of you that have that pull, you know what kind of army I'm talking about. I'm not talking about um, guns and knives and fighting in that particular way. I'm talking about fighting against you know, the forces that we can't see, um, my prayer warriors, and so forth. So, I just recently was, um, I was voted in now as the EVP of my union, you guys. So, within two months, uh, two months ago, I was voted as VP of South Carolina, and I have just this week been voted in as the EVP of our local which covers um, South Carolina, Alabama, and you guessed it, Tennessee. So God answers prayers you guys. You may not know how he's going to lay the foundation or how he's going to clear your path, but if you continue to have faith, God moves mountains. He truly does. I would have never ever guessed that I would have been in this position if you would have asked me six months ago. I would have never ever guessed that literally the the road was going to be made straight and all the boundaries were just going to be flicked away by God and he was going to be like, here, here's your way, here's your path, everything that you're feeling is correct. I'm confirming that what you are doing is my work and I'm going to continue to bless you as long as you do my will. And I'm so grateful and I can't even explain it you guys. I feel so loved and, and so honored to have been blessed in such a big way by God. He is such an amazing, amazing God. He can do anything, even things that are just way beyond our imaginations. I would have never thought this. He had a plan. I continue to do his will. I continue to be obedient. I continue to do what I feel he really wants me to do. And apparently I am doing the right thing because he has completely cleared my path and shined the way for me. He is with me in every struggle that I face to put out these workplace fires. And he is with me, helping me, guide me to help the people that I need to help and bring me the people that, that I need to be a part of their life. And that doesn't just mean at work, you guys. That means some of you out there, we've, we've been brought together for a reason, and I know a lot of you, you know that. So 
don't get so preoccupied. The whole reason I'm saying this is because if you get so preoccupied and so focused on all the negativity in the world that we can't change, then you're going to miss the blessings that God has for you. You are going to miss the path that he is showing you if you stay so hyper-focused on everything in the world. No matter what is going on in the world, we're still gonna continue to prepare. We're still gonna continue to do the things we need to do, whether it be, you know, stock food or stock seeds or, you know, find a, a second place in case you have to bug out or whatever it is. Whether we know what's going on in the world or not, we are gonna continue to do that. Sometimes though, you just have to take a step back from watching everything going on in the world that you can't change anyway to see the path and the blessings that God has given you to help you achieve those things. So, stay faithful. You know, continue to build your trust and don't ask how things are going to happen. I mean, I guess you could ask. Just don't try to always fix it yourself. Oop, sorry. Just believe and have faith that somehow, some way, beyond your understanding that God is going to make a path. If, if he wants you in a certain place, he's going to show you the path to get there. If he wants you to do certain things, he's going to give you the tools that you need to be able to do them. So be kind, you guys. Love each other. Have faith. Stand strong. And know that God is always, always, always in charge. Bye, guys. Have a blessed day. Mwah! <laughs>